if we consider two vertebrae, they articulate at three separate points. The inferior vertebra possesses two superior articular processes, which articulate with the two inferior articular processes of the vertebra which is superior to it. Also, there is a connection between the bodies of adjacent vertebrae. The joints between the articular processes are synovial joints because they have a joint capsule, and diarthroses because they allow for free movement. More specifically, they are planar joints, which allow for a gliding movement. Between the bodies of adjacent vertebrae, we find cartilaginous joints because bands of fiber cartilage separate the bony bodies of these vertebrae. This type of cartilaginous joint is known as a symphysis. Because a little bit of movement is permitted between the bodies of adjacent vertebrae, these are known as amphiarthroses. And so the movements of the vertebral column are complex because they are diarthroses which connect the articular processes of neighboring vertebrae and an amphiarthrosis which connects the bodies of adjacent vertebrae. And it is the combination of these joint actions which allows for the flexion, extension, and hyperextension of the spine, the lateral flexion of the spine, and the lateral rotation of the spine.